Mustang Mach-E back, but it's not like the other Mach-E that we had. This one is the GT and it's the GT Performance. It's basically the fastest Mustang you can get. Wow, that's crazy because it's also like an SUV, but that's the beauty of the whole electric thing. We're talking torque and we're talking zero to 60 here in around three and a half seconds, which we're actually going to test in this video. I wanna see how it compares to some of the other electric vehicles that I've driven and I've driven a few at this point. How about that color? This is a vibrant orange. It's going to stand out. You got the pony badge in the front and actually that thing lights up. Check this out. Look at that, legendary badge. We still have these active dampers down below, sensors for parking. This is maybe my favorite element of this entire vehicle. That is such a cool looking rim, three dimensional and intriguing. And you also see those Brembo brakes behind another indication that you're looking at the GT performance version. Over here is where you're gonna charge it up. So this is exactly the same as the previous model. You have the DC fast charging capability as well, but otherwise you're dealing with universal stuff wherever there's a universal charger. Black mirrors is another thing that I like. Somehow with these black accents, they've made a high volume car seem slender and sleek. So it starts with that black piece down at the bottom there. And then the way that this black roof line works out. No pony emblem here. Instead, this is where you're gonna get your indication of which model you're dealing with. It says GT here. We still have the uh, kind of icy lights in the back. Also just all this black along the bottom. And this is really what it's all about. This is why this particular segment is uh, just taking over the industry is because everybody wants this. Everybody wants to be able to throw absolutely everything in their car. This particular approach angle for loading things is just very beautiful. Tremendous cargo. This is the type of cargo that gets Kirk excited. He starts thinking about all the things he might do with this cargo. All the places he might go. I mean, that's all of us, isn't it? We think, imagine the possibilities. I'm going to carry so many things. I'm never going to be bothered all the events, all the opportunities. Fork in the road, I go left, they go right. It's nice though, I mean, I gotta admit, I like it too. So let's go ahead and talk about the doors. They've got these little buttons on here that basically pop the thing open. You hit the button, comes open like that, you grab from there. So it's here, and my fingers are in this location, and look, I, f I still feel terrified doing that. So yeah, if you got knocked or bumped or something, or even if you leaned into it, your fingers are not severed. The little safety that's built in there to deal with that. So that's pretty cool. Front door is a little bit different. There is a slight handle to it. So you hit the button here and you can either grab there or you can just grab right there. By avoiding this, you make things very sleek this way. And I'm sure Ford will probably tell you that there's some kind of a drag improvement that comes from not having to have any kind of door handle. I think it just creates a sleek look. Funny enough, there's still the passcode entry as well if you happen to not have access to your key or something like Can this. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. You're once in your life? No, you? never. I have it on my all, all every Ford car I've ever had, including two right now. Shout out Ford. Yo, you got to get me the new Raptor though, like ASAP. Please and thank you because I haven't even seen one yet. Those are hard to get. Those are hard to see. That new Raptor's not on the road. Mr. Ford, see what we can do. All right, so this is a really cool uh, interior. It's kind of like an almost Alcantara-like feel. What's cool is as I look at this chair from this angle, you can see almost two racing stripes underneath. But then if you're directly over top of it, they're almost like reflectors. Kirk's gonna find a way to show you that. Actually, this is a comfortable place to be, especially because of this huge piece of glass up above that gives you the sense of having even more headroom. I'm going in the front. Let's get in the front. That's where it really counts. That's what we're really about. These are brand new, different seats. Wraps around you and grabs you a little bit better. Multiple materials in use. GT badge on the top of the armrest here. This, I guess you can lift that up and then you have storage here. There is a traditional style drive selector. I've been driving other electric cars. There's all types of different implementations for this, but this is pretty tried and true. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. There you have it. And plus a dedicated parking brake is over here, on and off. 
Also the automated parking is here. Couple of cup holders. You have your wireless charging as well as a USB-A and C port. This is such an obvious place for this stuff to be. Glove box, traditional open and close. There you have all these little triangular shapes. The texture is not what I expected. I expected to feel metallic, but it actually has a like a three-dimensional texture going on. Of course, we have the B&O stuff up top too for the audio system. More Alcantara over here. I almost missed this, but there's more storage underneath here as well. I'll put stuff down there. Let's power it up. They can do like around 420 kilometers on a charge, which is actually pretty, pretty good. That's fairly impressive, especially for the performance model. Oh, I got some lumbar. Ooh. Actually, these seats are pretty nice. This car does have some form of autonomous driving on uh, highways, but it's kind of still developing. That's self-driving, meaning steering and things like that. But of course, you've also got adaptive cruise and um, lane keep assist. So it has a lot of smart features and functions in it. You have some controls over here on the steering wheel, of course. Once again, you got the badge, Mustang badge staring back at you. The display portrait orientation and this funky volume knob, which remains and is tactile. And it's kind of a nice little addition. It's just that thing you reach for on a frequent base. They chose to have one thing that's not inside the touchscreen. Everything else is controlled from here. So this has both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Bluetooth audio. So there's many ways to listen to your favorite content, including one of my favorite things to do in a car, which is listen to audiobooks. Today's sponsor is Audible. I have been an Audible subscriber myself for as long as I can remember. This one that I just added to my library is called Breath by James Esther. The new science of a lost art. This is about breathing, whether or not you could have guessed that. Mm. Uh, this is a thing that a lot of people don't put much thought into, but that's an ancient one. Well, as far as the breathing is concerned, you, I mean, you wouldn't be here without it, you know? Everyone does it. Everyone does it, but does everyone do it well? I know I don't. You may want to check it out yourself. It's a uh, looks to be a, a pretty short listen, which is cool too. Here's the beauty though. You can uh, try Audible for free. Zero dollars included with Premium Plus. One audiobook of your choice, stream or download, thousands of included titles. Uh, you can also get a discount, it's 60% off for three months. That's only $5.95 a month. You gotta understand the way this works. Like you're getting credits, you're, get, you're getting titles in many cases that are would typically sell for a lot more than $5.95. Start listening to some interesting stuff. Start over on Audible at audible.com slash unbox therapy. That's where you need to go. Or you can text unbox therapy to 500-500 and you're gonna get that deal so long as you use that URL. And let me know what you're listening to. Okay, so drive modes, very important. Whisper, engage, unbridled. You want the full performance, you're going to be in the unbridled mode. It has one pedal driving in it, which is gonna use that regenerative braking. You gotta get used to this, but I'm fairly competent with the one pedal driving, so you have that option. Propulsion sounds and unbridled extend this is for track use and not intended for public roads. It provides a performance driving experience refined for closed roadways or race course driving. So this is gonna put more traction in the rear and essentially give you a race car like feel. Cameras, 360 degrees all the way around. Around that's showing a little bit of Kirk over there. So then we can select a few different ones. I mean, you gotta have, it's a very nice thing to have the modern comforts. It'll also park itself, driver assistance modes in here. I mean, it's tons. Auto hold, speed limit assist, lane keep, pre-collision assist, rear view camera delay, blind spot information, cross traffic, reverse brake assist, and driver alert. And this is not the only display in a vehicle. There's also a display here. And they've actually found a way to fit it in inside the opening on a traditional steering wheel. So it actually all fits in, nothing is really obstructed. This is gonna show you key characteristics like the range of the vehicle, charge percentage, your speed, of course, and then if the sensors are picking up anything that happens to be around you, obstacles, things to be worried about. And then of course, this unusual handle for releasing the door, you just pull back on it like this, and you're out. It's kind of a singular motion type of thing. 
Franca jar might be the best new word in the English language. It's it, well, it's actually it's that town in uh, Iceland. Yeah. No. Uh, it absolutely has a frunk. Um, electric vehicle. It's a must. And this one has a drain, and it's a big one too. Plus two cup holders or beer holders or whatever you want to hold. Uh, it'll drain down at the bottom. You could put luggage. You could put ice. You could put more of Kirk's camping gear. It's completely up to you. It's uh, sealed off in the front end here. Other than that, I mean, all you got is your washer fluid. You don't need to see anything else. Pre-collision assist. Sick. Lane change assist. Oh, this has very effective lane keeping. It's asking me to keep my hands on the steering wheel. Like if I go towards this center, look at that. Just pins you back in very smoothly. This, the seating position, the suspension, and just like the sight lines, very SUV. I'm gonna let those cars ahead have a little more space and switch to unbridled. <laughs> so, oh look, there's a graphic that comes up on the screen. That's fast. I mean, I felt it. Like that right there, three, three and a half seconds, zero to 60. It's pretty much what anybody would want. It's gonna get you, it's gonna get you, I mean, you're gonna be able to merge, you're gonna be able to, I mean, these guys holding the cameras, they're gonna go, oh, like it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's zero to 60 and 3.5 is no laughing matter. There's also one pedal drive, which I think I'm gonna turn that on and give it a try. This is gonna be more aggressive on the braking as your foot comes off of the accelerator. So that's my foot off the accelerator. It'll come to a complete stop. We should probably do from zero, like a launch from zero. So since there's nobody, that person's pretty far behind me, I'm gonna go right to zero. They're gonna be like, what are you doing? And I'm gonna just be like, There you go. All right, that's uh, whoo, yeah. That'll get you there. Mo liked it. <laughs> I liked it. That Mo was liked fun, it. man. Be like, <laughs> there you go. All right, that's uh, whoo. I mean, that's see, that's definitely what the GT badge is about. And as practical as Ford made this car. You had to know when they put the Mustang name on it that they're gonna have to bring some performance and this is the model that does it, the GT performance model. That's the whole kind of agenda. And it's great because it kind of keeps the dream alive. You're gonna get that uh, practicality. It's gonna be your everyday car. When you lay down the accelerator, you're also gonna go. 